Well, then quickly on China before I move on to Iran. Um, the president said yesterday that he's not ready to lift tariffs on Chinese imports, but the Chinese Ministry of Commerce fired back and said that if he were to do so, it might ease inflation and make things easier for both manufacturers and consumers in China and in the U.S. Is that a tool that he might consider to fight inflation? Well, we are doing undergoing a review of all of these um, and looking at how they impact uh, different industries. That effort is being led by Ambassador Tai, as you know. Uh, some of them have not hurt industries, some of them have, and, and we're certainly, but I don't have anything to preview on that front. It's, it's really being led by Ambassador Tai. And then finally, on Iran, the President was quite optimistic yesterday. What is the source of his optimism? Has he received any assurances from Iran's Supreme Leader? And is the U.S. planning to deliver on the guarantees that Tehran is seeking? Well, I think it depends on what Iran's willing to bring to the table. So uh, the president is always going to, uh, you know, he believes that diplomacy is the first best option. Uh, and we are uh, engaged, uh, I believe it's the eighth round of talks now, if I'm remembering my numbers, um, eighth round of talks. Uh, and we are going to see uh, what happens. He also several weeks ago asked his team to prepare a range of options as well. So that uh, that has also happened. I mean, there are realities, though, here of what we're looking at because of the decision by the last president to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal, which means Iran is much closer to uh, developing the fissile materials they need. Uh, they are, we don't have no transparency or visibility as we had when we were in the deal. Uh, there have been more attacks uh, around the world uh, on our allies and partners. Uh, so there are some realities of the challenging circumstances we're in because of the decision made by the former president. And his team at the time, I would remind everyone, promised they would negotiate a stronger deal, that these things wouldn't happen. That was not true. So here we are. We're in the diplomatic negotiations. Uh, and we've been very clear about uh, where we stand uh, on what we would agree to. Uh, but again, I don't have anything to, to read out for you beyond, uh, beyond the status of where they are now.